Uh, hello everyone, this is uh, Russell Lowe speaking and uh, this is the third of the series of uh, starting uh, to create environments inside of um, CryEngine 3 um, and this is the bit where we start to create the architecture. Uh, so if uh, you come to playuptools.com uh, uh, you'll find a fantastic uh, plugin uh, for creating content in CryEngine uh, in SketchUp for CryEngine 3 and others actually as well. So come to the download section and download the latest version of uh, that plugin. Uh, all you need to do after that is uh, just run it and uh, you'll get a zip and uh, you can open that zip file and then just click on it and run the um, uh, executable and that will um, install a set of tools, these uh, tools here, into uh, into SketchUp for you. So the check normals is very useful uh, and um, the check vertices count is also very useful because there are limits uh, that you need to work with them. Um, so if you go into the plugin um, uh, drop down menu uh, then you'll see the play up uh, uh, plugin there and then hit the preferences and when you hit the preferences you can select CryEngine 3 uh, that's the one we're going to be modding and that's uh, see if I can click that across. Uh, so we go into the CryEngine 3 and you can see uh, I've got uh, a level here. So let's um, go to the level that I've just created uh, in the last uh, tutorial. So I'll browse to there, uh, go my computer, C, uh, x86, program files x86, uh, electronic arts and uh, art trauma and low and then we go into the game folder and into the levels folder and then arch 101 demo that's the one in the last um, oh or was it video tutorial let me just double check Oop, hang on. Hi everyone, uh, I'm back and I double checked and it was called Arch, the level we created was Arch 101 Video Tutorial. Uh, so that's in the um, that low game levels folder. Uh, so the next one we need to go to is to make sure that we're in the right um, uh, bin folder for the resource compiler. So if we go to browse here and then uh, my computer Program files x86, electronic arts, crytek, low, and bin32, rc, rc.exe. And that is the same uh, bin folder that's in this uh, arch1101 low folder, so they make sure that they match. Uh, that's pretty important, and actually, it's critical. Uh, you only need to set this up once, though, for the, um, for the project, and then we can keep. Uh, exporting things. So this is a one-off uh, thing um, that we need to do. So I go OK and then uh, what I'll do is I'll create a little model very quickly. Um, oh, uh, alpha rectangle. Push that into there. Stick a little bit of a thing out here. something that goes up here so we can get a bit of height and maybe track a window of sorts in here as well so we can see the shadows getting cast through that thing it'd be quite nice uh, so we've got a basic object we could export this one but it'd be pretty boring so uh, let's put a custom texture on it um, mm -hmm. so I'll create the custom Texture, actually, I'll whack a I'll whack sort of red in here like this. So, demonstrates that we can use a couple of different materials uh, to create a custom texture. We click on this one and go use texture image. I'm going to go to uh, my uh, courses uh, one drawing and let's stick that one there I'm right. uh, going to change this to one meter square so it's a reasonable size to begin with go OK 
and then click it onto here like that. Maybe put it on there as well. Why not? Right click there, go texture position and just alter it so we can see the whole bike. There we go, so you can modify that however you like. Um, all of this stuff comes through. There we go. Do something ridiculous like that. Um, so now we've got a, a object um, that's uh, personal fit in here quite nicely. Uh, close the materials, triple click on it, and hit the G key, makes a component. And I'm going to call it Arch 101 um, uh, Video Tutorial 01. Okay, notice there's no gaps or anything in this name, and there's no funny characters or anything. Uh, the only one I've got is an underscore. You can use those, but um, avoid everything else. Uh, so there we go. Actually, did that one? Two, oh, one. Create. Yes. Hmm. I wonder why that didn't create the first time. Anyway, so we've got ourselves a uh, we've got ourselves a component. And now I just right click on it and go play up tools, export, uh, selected geometry. Uh, say yes to that one. A couple of windows flash up very, very quickly. Uh, if we go back to the, our, our um, uh, level again, uh, we can go into the geometric entities uh, under the roll up bar, go into levels and go uh, video tutorial. And that's our model there. Arch on a video tutorial one. Click that, drag it in, and it's right in the middle of the bush. So maybe we'll move it over here. Now here's a good trick. Uh, while you've got the select and move uh, selected, you can uh, hold down the shift and the control. Oh, that, that just banned the window as well. Um, okay, so I won't do that, but if you hold down the shift and control at the same time, and you're not video recording with Hypercam, uh, then uh, you can get um, the object to move around with you uh, to where you're clicking. And as you can see, I can walk through this thing and uh, see it cantilevering above me quite improbably. I can see the textures uh, as we assigned them. Uh, and I can see it casting shadows and the shadows aren't moving so I should change that a little bit later uh, what I'll do is I'll hit F3 a couple of times and that'll let me fly up to here and then hit F3 again and I can uh, walk around on the roof of this thing um, you'll need to put ramps or stairs or something like that uh, to, do, to do that job but, um, oh, but there you go. Now let me quickly just go back and uh, into SketchUp and make another one. So here's uh, an object that is going to go uh, up at about the same height. And then uh, I'll hit, what do I do, just put a, maybe put a, Hello. Uh, it was uh, security. Um, it's currently 15 minutes past 10, <laughs> and they're wondering what I'm doing here. Uh, and that's uh, in the PM, if you're all concerned. Uh, okay, so what have I done? I'll just make a Of overhang like that. Well, that is probably the least uh, nicely proportioned, uh, nicely proportioned object I think I've ever made. Um, geez, this is horrible. Uh, but I'm trying to illustrate a point. 
which is uh, maybe a bridge. Oh, okay, we've got a bridge across here somehow. So that will illustrate the point that I can design things that fit with other things. Uh, let's quickly put that uh, texture back uh, on it again. There we go, and uh, another red, another red wall, and maybe a green one, or maybe some. Uh, this concrete's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice texture. Let's put that onto there like that. There we go. Okay, so triple click, hit G. Arch uh, 1101 PO uh, uh, 02. So 02 is 02, yeah, 02 should do. Create. And uh, now I've got it created, I can right click and go export selected geometry. Go yes. It does those two windows flashing up very quickly and uh, tells me that it's done and then go into the geometric entities and you can see it's not there that's because I have to hit reload and it is there when I hit reload so now so, oh, it must have stuck out this way go right. Set that across there like that um, drop it down a little bit and then G. Oh, that was a little bit high for me. And now I can. That's a poor. That's a poor detail. Oh, oh there we go. Bit of a jump. Um. So now I can see a couple of pieces of architecture. Oh, I died. A couple of pieces of architecture uh, interacting with each other. Uh, and we can experience some from a first person sort of point of view just to see whether that's as bad as I thought it was uh, in SketchUp. Uh, I would go so far as to say it's not horrible, but it's not, um, I would say it was passable either. Okay, uh, great, um, knock yourselves out.